Wondering how to choose a school for your child? Well, watch this video right now. Right. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about living in Edmonton for families. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the new videos. So if you're trying to figure out how to get your kid into the school, don't forget April 15th is the deadline to make sure that your kids are registered into school and they are allowed to apply um, at the beginning of February. So make sure to get those applications in. Don't worry if you're thinking of changing your mind uh, in the summertime, you can always apply. Now it all depends if your school is in high demand, if you can get in. If you're moving from out of province or country and you move into your neighborhood, the designated school that your uh, neighborhood is, is they have to take your kids. So you don't have to worry about your kids not getting into the school, but if you want them to get into a specific school, then you're probably gonna wanna live in the neighborhood that is designated for that school. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to choose a school for your child here in Edmonton. So Edmonton has a variety of different options when you're looking at your child's education. There's three main ways that you can have your kid educated here in the city. You've got the private school option, the Edmonton public school option, and the Edmonton Catholic school option. As a side note, you can also homeschool. We are a homeschool family, and so that is a whole different ballgame, but we're not gonna talk about that in this video. So first I'm gonna to talk to you about the private schools here in Edmonton. So in Edmonton, with the private schools, the list is quite short because you do have to pay money to have your kids in that specific school. So why would someone choose a private school over the Edmonton Public or Catholic? Well, these public schools have very high standards for their specialization. So there's a short list. I'm only going to cover three of them in this video. If you want to check out more, just take, click on the link below and you'll see uh, the list of the other chartered schools in Edmonton. So the Edmonton Academy specializes with children with learning disabilities. Waldorf School is a very inclusive child-led learning type school. And the Tempo School is one where they focus very, very heavily on academics. So another option is to choose Edmonton Catholic schools. So as a taxpayer in the city of Edmonton, you usually are asked to pick if you're with the Edmonton Public or Edmonton Catholic. Edmonton Catholic um, in the past has been open. Again, depends on the school and their availability, but you don't have to be Catholic to register. Now, if the schools are full or a high demand school, especially the newer ones in the new areas of Edmonton, they do require that you are baptized Catholic in order to have admittance to be able to apply to that school in order to control their numbers. The Edmonton public school system is the one a lot of Edmontonians utilize. They have a variety of different programs. So the way that you choose a school with the Edmonton public school system, they have designated schools depending on where you live. Now you may think the school in your neighborhood that's very close would be your designated school, but that is not the case all the time. So make sure that you take a look at the Edmonton Public School Find a School Tool program, which we'll include in the link below um, in the description because it also depends where, you're, where your designated school is. And sometimes it changes from year to year. Now, when you take a look at the school system, they've got different schools that have different specializations. So for example, you can have Mandarin Immersion, German Immersion, and French Immersion schools. Those schools, are they operate a bit differently. It has nothing to do with necessarily where you live. You just have to apply in within a certain time frame to get into these schools. They do have school bus um, systems that will take them the kids to the schools. Edmonton Public also has some other specializations. For example, the Victoria Composite High School specializes in the arts. And so if your kid is very much into dancing or music, that is one school that we would highly recommend that you take a look at. So I wanna to talk to you about how the school system works here in Edmonton. So if you're from out of country, out of province, this might be news to you in terms of how the grade levels work. So for example, if your child is entering kindergarten, it starts at age five. Your child has to be five years old by December 31st of that calendar year in order to get into kindergarten um, for September. Then it proceeds to grade one to grade six is what we consider elementary school. And then from grade seven to nine, it is junior high school. And then from grade 10 to 12, it is high school. So there's a lot of schools in both the Edmonton public and Catholic system that they're called K to nine. So you've got kindergarten 
all the way to grade nine. Some of Edmonton Public Schools' best schools would be the Mount Pleasant School and Stratford School. These schools are both very known for their academics, and interestingly enough, they're also located in one of the most expensive quadrants in Edmonton, which is the south side of Edmonton. One of the largest schools in Edmonton is the Harry Ainley Public High School. So that is one of the largest schools in Edmonton, but we have a smaller classroom size. Uh, so again, if you want smaller classroom size, a lot of the private schools will have a very small school setting, such as the Tempo School, which only has 300 to 400 students. So when you're choosing a school for your child, you're going to have to determine what grade level are they in and what school system do you want them to go into, private, public, or Catholic? And then from there, what kind of specialization? Do you want them to be in a school that is specialized? Do you want them to specialize in academics? Do you want them to specialize in learning a second language? Or do you just want them to go to a school that is ranked not as a horrible school? You'll want to check out the links I put in the description so you can take a look at the Fraser Institute where they have ranked the schools here in Edmonton and across Canada.